but you can check the boxes and still go to hell. Do you know that? You need to know him. You need to know him. And in his book you find him. Prayerfully study this book. Ask, who is it that speaks to me? Who is he? And you will realize, I'm sure many of you have, that the more you study this book, the more you read in this book, the more he becomes alive to you. Not that he's dead. You're just dull. You don't see it. And suddenly you see a person. He's not just a principle. He's not just something far, far away. He's a real person. And you get to know how he thinks. What he loves, what he hates, how he reacts when his people do this, that, or the other. And you get to know him. And suddenly you, I know him. I know him. This is what they call the personal relationship with God. And this is not something the evangelicals only do out there. That is something that we do. Knowing the living God And you will see your prayer life. Suddenly you don't pray into the void anymore. Is somebody there? Is somebody listening? Somebody somebody who you know. And then you know him. And you're drawn to prayer because you know him who listens. And then you see it all play out in your life. And you cannot help but change. This is how sanctification happens, my dear friends. Other than legalism, where we try to be somebody that we're not. You're sucked into the presence of God and it changes you. Isaiah was not the same afterwards. Moses was not the same afterwards. Ezekiel was not the same afterwards. Jeremiah was not the same afterwards. And neither shall we be. Knowing Him and the power of the resurrection will change us. 